the things that we talk about here are things that are that are very ex extremely serious. You know, the Archbishop spoke today about the possibilities of persecution and martyrdom and all of that. And fortunately, we're not at that place right now. But you know, who knows? And so the things that we're doing right now could help prepare us. So I want to thank you for coming. I also want to let you know that the Holy Spirit Radio is here broadcasting this live uh, on WCOJ covering Chester counties and parts of Delaware. It also gets into Lancaster and Berks counties. And WISP, both AM, covering Bucks and Montgomery counties and Northeast Philadelphia. So hopefully this will get a wide distribution. So um, without further ado, I'd like to ask Bishop McIntyre to, to welcome you all and offer just a, a, a quick prayer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Bishop John McIntyre. I'm one of the auxiliary bishops here in the Archdiocese, and one of my responsibilities is the Secretariat for Evangelization, within which lies uh, Steve Boza's office, our office for life and for family. So I'm grateful, first of all, to Steve and all those who helped organize today. Grateful to you for your presence here today. I know that uh, the news in our nation over these last few years, events that have happened, um, aren't particularly encouraging to us in terms of the living out of our faith with regards to the life issues, family, marriage. But it's very good for us to gather together, first of all, to come to the Lord Jesus within the offering of the Eucharist, to seek his strength, his guidance, and then to gather uh, here this after this morning, pardon me, to seek encouragement from each other so that we can continue to strive as best we can to build a culture of life in our nation. I'm grateful to Archbishop Chaput for his presence here this morning, and most especially for his celebrating uh, mass for you this morning. So let's begin our gathering this morning by asking the Lord's blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, you who are the Lord of life, we praise and thank you for the gift of your beloved, beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whose death and resurrection has unleashed in the world the power of your sanctifying grace. We ask you to strengthen us with that grace, to build up your church with that grace. Help us through that gift to be ever more committed to your gospel, ever more committed to promoting the value of all human life. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, mother of the church and mother of life, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, four talks lined up, and you, you've all had the um, um, announcements sent out to you. That's why you're here. Uh, there are esteemed panels up on the, tab uh, in the front table here. We have uh, Ted Meehan, who is going to speak to us about the legislative uh, and judicial, judicial activities. He has done a lot of work with the Catholic, Pennsylvania Catholics Network. We have um, Mr. John DiCamillo um, from the National Catholic Bioethics Center is going to help us navigate these, har these waters that we have that will give us an uh, understanding as to how should Catholic business um, owners and also individuals respond to this, you know, in our duties uh, towards God, the church, and also our duties to take care of our families and to be able to provide uh, meaningful health insurance for people. Um, also, we have um, Mr. Uh, Dr. John Berhaney, who's the, the executive director for the um, Catholic Medical Association, who's going to be speaking to us about uh, the effects of the Affordable Care Act on the elderly and the infirmed. And then we have Dr. Bill Williams, a newly ordained deacon, I may add. We're very proud of him from the Catholic Medical Association and a medical doctor who is going to speak to us about uh, the effects of contraception on the female body. So it's not just that the church is saying these things because of theological reasons. There are very practical reasons also why the church says that uh, contraception is, is intrinsically evil. And so he's going to give us an, an understanding of all that. So um, we, we scheduled the time so that each of us, each of our presenters would have a half hour, 15 to 20 minutes for their talk. And also uh, I'm going to ask you to Offer, offer any questions you have please keep the questions brief I may have to cut you off not because I don't like you but because we, we need to keep on schedule I don't want to keep you here longer than we have to and I'm going to ask the panelists to please repeat the question that is asked to you uh, from the uh, audience